hi guys monroe still here from fashion still nyc and welcome back to my channel if you enjoy fashion lifestyle beauty and travel content including vlogs make sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video it's the most wonderful time of the year <sighs> It's almost fashion week. Well, at least when this video goes live, fashion week will just be starting. What I've been doing for the past couple of days is kind of getting outfits together to see what I'm going to wear to the shows this year. My process with it is to just kind of narrow down my schedule, see what shows I'm going to, and then if I can incorporate something that I own from the brand or borrow something. This year, most of the outfits that I have put together are things that I own myself but I will be partnering with Farfetch this New York Fashion Week to loan a few pieces. Those outfits you will not see in this video. You're just gonna have to wait until I post my New York Fashion Week vlog or check the gram during New York Fashion Week, which is from February kind of 5th to the 12th-ish, and you'll see. I'm very excited to be working with Farfetch, by the way. One of my favorite places for designer pieces. Anywho, I'm only gonna show you about five looks that I've kind of put together. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna wear these looks because sometimes what happens is it snows, it rains, the weather changes. So really, I don't quite know if all of these things are gonna make the cut, but for now, they are all in the running for me wearing them to New York Fashion Week. And then I'll just kind of tailor it based on the show, the style of the designer, which thing I'm gonna wear on which day, and the weather. But first, because I know you wanna know, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing these gold hoop earrings by Kenneth J. Lane that I got during the Netta Porter sale last season. Amazing brand for lovely earrings. I'm wearing my favorite Brinker and Eliza medallion necklace. I'll put a link down to this necklace below. I think it might still be on sale. Ring is from And Other Stories. This top is like an oversized satin black top that I thrifted. And what's really cool about it is the back of it. really long it has kind of like one of those tuxedo bottoms and I paired it with my favorite pair of mom jeans from and other stories and my Chanel slingbacks here is a full look at my outfit I actually ripped these jeans if you watch my insta stories you guys saw when I was dancing in the morning and ripped these jeans but I still love them and then you can see the back of this top how it falls like that it's pretty cool just a little relaxed fit outfit today because i'm going to be trying on all of these outfits for you guys without further ado let's just get right into it so this fashion week for me is all about being comfortable yet being stylish so i feel like i'm going to do a lot of comfortable shoes and boots, things that I can be in all day because my schedule is pretty insane. Like I'm really, really excited for this New York Fashion Week. A little bit of outerwear, a lot of color, and also a few like very neutral tone chic looks. Some of these things you might have seen in my previous new in winter haul because some of these things I specifically bought with the thought of wearing them for New York Fashion Week. And I wanna kind of stand out and wear some of my very favorite pieces. I'm definitely going to be wearing my Loewe belt a lot, trying to get cost per wear out of that belt. Definitely gonna be wearing my Bottegas and my new Wandler boots a lot as well. So you might see those three things kind of repeating throughout all of my outfits because I'm trying to get my cost per wear. Those things were expensive. Speaking of expensive, if you are looking for the best designer dupes, that blog post went live on Monday, February the 3rd, 2020. If you wanna know the best designer dupe shoes, the best designer dupe bags, definitely check out that blog post. I'll put a link down to it below. Let me stop rambling and get into look number one. Look number one, we're going with this oversized cotton shirt dress by H&M. I love the balloon sleeves. It's pretty much just a basic like neutral cotton dress. I bought it specifically for wearing my Loewe belt with it in mine. And here is my Loewe belt. 
I bought this belt from Netta Porter and it's a very supple leather. I just keep it rolled up. Comes with this little leather string and I love wearing this with like baggy dresses that I can kind of cinch in or sheath dresses or even with jeans. You'll see another look that I'm gonna create with this, with jeans. This is very expensive for like what it is, but I really wanted it and I love it. They have it in a few places, I think, like Netta Porter, Moda Operandi, maybe at Farfetch. I will put a link to everywhere I can find it online down below. I got the size medium just in case you're wondering. I am a size six normally or a size medium and pretty much everything. And the medium belt fit perfectly for me. I think my waist is maybe a 28. So gonna pair this dress with this belt and then probably top it off with my new Wandler boots that you guys would have seen in my most recent video, my new in Winter Haul 2020. Love these boots, pick these up from Moda Operandi and I think that is just a winning combination of a look. For more accessories, probably going to wear my And Other Story sunglasses with it and maybe even Pop it off with this thick headband that is also from And Other Stories. This is kind of like the Prada dupe. Like I said, if you're looking for great designer dupes, head over to my most recent blog post, The Best Designer Dupes of 2020. I have listed a ton of these for less. The H&M dress is a size large. I wanted it oversized so that when I put the belt on, I can move my arms freely. The Wandler boots are a size 40, which is pretty much a size smaller than what I'm used to, but they fit really well. If you want more details on the fit, definitely check out my previous video. And like I said, the Loewe belt is a size medium. I'm probably going to wear or take with me my And Other Stories hourglass coat for this look but whatever day i wear this on i don't plan on being outside <laughs> for very long in fact if you watch my previous new york fashion week videos you know that i have a new york fashion week fund which means basically i'm taking ubers any and everywhere and some brands even give us uber codes to come to their events so i won't have to pay for everything don't worry i won't be outside very long no more than about 10 minutes tops um, enough to get my picture taken and then I'm taking myself inside. A few of my looks do have outerwear, some of them don't and for those days, I won't be out long. Really love this look, I think it's really chic with the neutral colors, the black, the creams. I think it works together nicely and I think it will photograph really well. And also I could wear this all day and be super comfortable, especially in these boots because the heels aren't very high. So that is my look number one. <sighs> All right, guys, you knew that I was not going to pass up a moment to wear this coat during New York Fashion Week. Let's get into look number two. Look number two is pretty much all about the outerwear. It is this beautiful, very vibrant coat that I got from the Zara sale. I got this recently, maybe like three weeks ago from the Zara in Soho on Broadway, if you're interested. Not sure if they still have it, it's not online anymore. I know when I showed this in a recent haul, you guys were, some of you were upset that you couldn't find it. That's not my fault, I'm sorry guys. You just have to go to your local Zara and check it out. I don't think it's available anymore though. But this is a size large. I love the sleeves. I actually wore this recently to a few blogger events. It is super long and I just, I love it. It's actually pretty warm too. So we're gonna start the look with this burst of color. Pink is in. Pink is like my new favorite color. And I'm going to pair it with these Alexander Wang two-tone jeans, you guys. I forgot I had these, like I'm not even gonna front. Do you guys remember if you've been watching my shopping hauls that I went to the Alexander Wang sample sale and this was one of the things that I bought. I did not even try them on because there was no fitting room at the sample sale, which is sometimes how sample sales are. I literally just put it around my neck like that. The two ends touched and I knew 
that it would fit. That's an, a tip, by the way, if you hate trying on clothes, especially like pants, just go around your neck like that. And if it touches like this in the back perfectly, chances are it'll fit. Something about the neck ratio being double the waist ratio, I don't really know the science behind it, but it works. These jeans, our two-tone Alexander Wayne jeans. I love that acid wash black denim, the little logo. They're like cigarette straight and very, very flattering. I think they will go well with this coat. And then underneath, I'm just gonna pair it with this H&M bodysuit with the underwire here. It's kind of like a sewn on underwire. It just gives you the illusion. It is a bodysuit. I got this from H&M maybe last year it wasn't an, a haul but i think they've sold out of this one for the shoe <laughs> bam so like i know that this pink and this fuchsia pink strawberry pink i don't really know are not exactly the same but i actually like the contrast of the two and think that it would just look phenomenal in photos and plus these manolos are pretty comfortable to wear i got these manolos from the nordstrom sale pretty recently i think they might still even have them in store in nordstrom in this color but not online so if you have a nordstrom near you check in store so that is what i'm going for for outfit number to it's a little edgy and a little girly and a little badass like all at the same time and i'm here for it and plus i get to wear these pants that i haven't worn yet and need to look number two let's get into look number three this is one of another one of the like nude very chic looks that i put together for an accessory i'm wearing this derek lamb yarn knitted shawl it actually just goes right over your head it's like a big scarf it looks really cool on i've gotten a few questions about this this is really old i got this from a derek lamb sample sale five years ago <laughs> but it's one of my favorite like little winter pieces and i love how it kind of elevates this look when i put it all together this will definitely be getting worn a lot during new york fashion week especially if it's like super cold for my outerwear i will be wearing this oversized blazer from the frankie shop the frankie shop does oversized blazers like no other i feel like all of the fashion girls have this blazer the camera doesn't do the color justice it's a really rich tote it's really lovely so the thing about this jacket that i love from the frankie shop is that it's so oversized i can pretty much do anything with it i could wear it as a blazer i could wear it as a shirt i can cinch it into like an hourglass shape and that's what i plan to do again with my loewe belt i'm gonna wear this thing all new york fashion week so hope you guys are ready so i will be wearing that along with these a goldie jeans these jeans were super popular last year they are the boyfriend denim with the asymmetrical buttons there pretty cool and I have the size 29 although I could have gone down to probably a 28 or a 27 and I like to cuff the bottom of mine but you don't have to do that either there are links to all of these things down below if I can find links these are my favorite kind of like boyfriend jeans I love how they look with heels I feel like these are the perfect jeans to wear with a pair of heels speaking of heels so you kind of see how that's gonna look with my shawl over top. I will be busting out the Bottega net pumps this New York Fashion Week. Of course, like if it snows or if it rains, of course I'm not gonna wear these. I will probably substitute them for the mini pair of black stiletto boots, black Celine boots, black Alexander Wang boots that I have, but for now if there's like one warm day i'm probably going to wear these i actually got a lot of inspiration from copenhagen fashion week i've been following actually all the fashion weeks men's fashion week in paris copenhagen fashion week and i've seen a lot of people wear these for cold weather and i like how they styled it so i'm pretty sure that i can pull it off and also if you're looking for a dupe because the dupes are out there 
they're out there. Check out my most recent post, the best designer dupes of 2020. I sprinkled a few in there because I mean, these are pretty pricey, but I love them. They're gonna get worn for sure. But can you see that together? It's a fashion look. It's a fashion look it is. I promise you it is. That is look number three, two more to go. Do not forget to vote below and let me know which look is your favorite. Time for look number four. You may have already seen this color block dress from Zara in my previous winter shopping haul 2020. I got this recently from Zara. This is the size medium. It's a beautiful color block dress in baby blue, white, lime green, and a deep navy blue with pleated bottoms and a little slit here. I love this dress. I want it like a bright, very kind of contemporary style dress that I could wear with, you guessed it, my little wavy belt. I mean, literally, it looks like a bag if you do not cinch in the waist, if you don't have a really nice wide belt. I think even like a cognac color belt would look beautiful with this with a pair of cognac color boots. I don't have either, so we're gonna go with the Loewe belt. And for boots, I'm probably going to pair it with my Jill Sonder white boots that I picked up from the sample sale last year for 50 bucks. Stick with me kids, I'll take you far. If you have not yet subscribed to my newsletter where I drop all of the sample sales, events happening in New York City, and other sales happening online, there's a link down to it below. Make sure you subscribe. So we have this with my Loewe belt, my white Jill Sonder boots, and I kind of haven't decided which of these bags I'm gonna carry with it that I picked up from Amazon. It is the Bottega pouch bag dupe. Only paid $30 for this one. Not sure yet if I'm gonna pair it with the black bag or like the white cream colored bag. Same, this one's also from Amazon. I think this one was 28 bucks. One of these will be worn. I bought these two bags specifically for New York Fashion Week because I just wanted something really easy to carry that I could throw my vlogging camera in and these work perfectly. So there's links down to these below. There's also more links to these and the recent blog post about the best dupes. Sorry if I keep bringing that up, but if I don't plug my work, who else will? If you have not yet checked out my blog, Fashion Steel NYC, all of the tea is really over there. Definitely check out, there's a link down below. But loving how this all looks together. I actually already know what show I'm gonna wear this to, but you'll have to wait and see. One more look and we're done. Look number five. This is my very like practical look in case it snows because there's a good chance it might. It usually snows every New York Fashion Week. So I wanted a very kind of chill, military-esque outfit for when that happens. So we will start with this coat, this outerwear, you guys, it's buttery soft and it's beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Nanushka coat. This is faux leather bubble coat and kind of like a shorter length, a bomber coat. Got this from Lulu's. You probably saw it in a, in a haul maybe like last fall. I'll put a link down to it below because they still have it on the website. It comes in this color and also in black. I got the size medium and it fits perfectly. It is a little bit oversized. For the top, I went with this thick black knit top. It's a turtleneck actually from Zara. It's actually sleeveless. It's super old. Like <laughs> there's no way you're gonna find this, this top anywhere. It's maybe like three years old and I don't wear it much, but I really love how luxe it looks and the texture of it. I love the texture of this with this. I think that's super elevated and kind of understated, but nice. I'm gonna bust out my JW Anderson cargo pants. You guys have seen me wear these so much. Love the little bottom, how you can cinch those up. It looks amazing with heels when they're cinched. I could wear this part down to kind of create a skirt or wear it up or just have one up and one down. For the sake of street style photos, 
your girl is wearing it down for sure i feel like it looks so much edgier down like kind of almost like a little skirt really cool set of cargo pants if i can find them i will put a link down below i think they are on sale right now i just bought the pink or like the salmon colored version of these from netta porter so i'll put a link down below the size of these is a us size 4 uk size 8 keep in mind i'm normally a size 6 but these pants run a little bit large for the shoe again going with the bottegas i think it would go nicely with the cargo pants and also with the jacket and this top it's a look then I'm probably just gonna wear it with this bag from Amazon. That is my look number five. Now, all of these things may or may not be worn during New York Fashion Week, but those are five looks that I've kind of put together, said yes, these will work, and they are on my rack to be worn for New York Fashion Week. I actually have five other looks on the rack but for the sake of time we're not going to go through all of them and plus i want you to kind of be a little bit surprised at what i wear during new york fashion week and then i'm going to be pulling some looks from farfetch so you'll see those as well i will be vlogging the entire new york fashion week i am not sure if i'm going to do one very long video or break it up into two videos it is eight days so that will be a super long video. So we will see, I haven't really figured it out yet. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some street style from people attending the shows. And I think that is gonna be super like inspiring to see what everyone is wearing to the shows. So make sure that you are subscribed. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my New York Fashion Week content. It is some of the best if I must say so myself, of like behind the scenes of what really goes on at New York Fashion Week. And I'm sorry, I'm not used to talking this much and my voice is cracking. Anywho, vote down below. Let me know which outfit is your fave. Look number one, look number two, look number three, or look number four, or look number five. Links to everything can be found down below in the description box. Just click the link, it'll take you straight to the product. I've linked everything that I can find and if I can't find it, I've linked something similar. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. I already told you to subscribe, but don't forget to like. All the likes matter guys. Thanks for watching guys. Get ready, I'm gonna take you for a really wild, fun, fashion ride this New York Fashion Week. And in the meantime, check out my previous New York Fashion Week videos. I have a ton, I do.